All right, it's time for us to have a conversation still based on nutrition. Yes, so when we talk nutrition, especially uh, when it comes to breakfast, it's something that people go back and forth on every time as to whether or not um, breakfast is key, whether or not breakfast is important, or whether or not people should have breakfast. And so it's a question, a conversation that has been going on for ages. I, for one, just realized that I forgot my breakfast at home this morning. Kind of feeling teary, but that's all right. Uh, but whatever the case may be, we have uh, a nutritionist in the studio with us this morning, uh, Olushegun Abimbola. Uh, she's a food consultant, and she'll be discussing breakfast and its health effects. Great to have you on the show. Okay, thank you. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me on board. So I would like to be talking on the concept of breakfast and your health. The fact that we hear that breakfast is the most important meal of the day is not a cliche. It is what it is because it is very important. So there's this model of operation that we have that says eat breakfast like a king, lunch like a prince, and dinner like a pauper. But we have that the reverse is the case in Nigeria. In most cases. In most cases, we tend to focus more on our dinner, eating more meals, and which is not what it's supposed to be. We are supposed to eat well, eat better in the morning, and reduce it as time goes on. So why break is breakfast actually important? Because our body has undergone a fast period. Let's say you add your dinner, 8 or 9 p.m., which is supposed to be the maximum recommended time you eat your dinner. Worst case is 9 p.m. But you know, in Nigeria, sometimes you see people eating 10 p.m., 11 p.m. It is not an healthy choice at all, at all. So now, your body have been going through some process during that time of 9, 10, 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, till the morning. And so it is very expedient that when you wake up in the morning, you fuel your body system because it is very important for brain metabolism. If you don't get adequate breakfast in the morning, it would not allow you to be very alert. You would tend to be sluggish to some extent for some persons. You tend to be very sluggish and you won't be able to operate, do all the activities you are supposed to do in the right sense. You know, you know this sluggish uh, part you're talking about? You know you said eat like a king for breakfast. For some people, eating like a king is actually pounded yam. You know, pounded yam and a foriro. And then for some people with good measure, they will put boiled egg in it. But then, it, 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 you know, it's relative. <laughs> However, you know, when you eat like that, for some people, it makes them sleepy. Especially when you eat eba in the morning. So you won't have to eat something as heavy as eba in the afternoon. Is that the kind of eating like a king you're talking about? Because I'm looking at Nigerian diet, and I'm like, if you're going to eat like a king, that's how you're going to eat. You're going to eat pounded yam in the morning. Then by afternoon, you are probably eating boiled yam or boiled potato. And then by evening, you are eating maybe salad or something. So what's the best case scenario? Okay, as much as it is important to have healthy breakfast, the food choices is also very paramount. And one recommended food choice that is always given is that we eat a diet that is high in fiber. That is our old grains, such as old granola, and also high in protein, and also little fat, because on healthy fat, it is not good for our body, and also adequate amount of water. So our protein, our breakfast should not exclude high amount of whole grains, protein, and low amount of fat. So, so when uh, we come back... So, is protein. Sure you understand? Yes, that's it. And then grain. Because if you tell like, an average person to go and be buying granola, granola is very expensive now. But we You'll can probably not oats. buy into it. And then if you... Even oats are expensive now. Quite expensive, as a matter of fact. So, when you look at it, if I want to bring it home, do I take gari in the morning? Maybe gari with granuts. Granut has already provided fat and oil with protein. Gari, carbohydrates, then maybe fried fish. You know, what would you recommend bringing it to the Nigerian diet? Okay, bringing it to the Nigerian diet, we can have rice, we can have a protein as beans or probably chicken and something like that. And then a sauce that has fat, which is prepared with granut or something, so that can give us the fat. So we can also have this regular... Um, wheat bread or, or bread, and you can eat it with probably beans or egg, 
So like that, we are able to balance our intake of whole grain and our intake of protein. So what will you now have for lunch? So for lunch, you can eat swallow just as you recommend But uh, swallow is food for kings. A prince is also a food no, for a prince. No, it is bread and beans that is for prince. You see, Nigerian way of eating has even caused confusion in the old diet. So, but that is the recommended way of eating. So it's not, even when we go to kings, not all kings actually eat all those. It's just we perspective from the outside mm -hmm. that will feel that those kings are actually eating those pounded yam, those things like that. They eat healthier choices. They mm -hmm. go for healthier foods than us. It's not about these people that are actually wealthier. They know more about their health and go for healthier choices. Mm -hmm. They can have smoothie, yogurt, cereals, and those things. It's not only when you take pounded yam, eat eba, and those things that shows that you are a king. It is about you incorporating the right ingredients into your food and making sure that it is what your body needs. You know why I'm saying this? Okay, like now, in if, if you go to Italy, for example, pizza is a full meal. In Nigeria, pizza is a snack. Yeah. If you go to some countries, pies are a full meal. In Nigeria, if you give me meat pie and say, this is my breakfast or lunch, I'll say, okay, no problem. Then three minutes later, I'll ask you, so, oh, Jemida, <laughs> you know, that kind of stuff, like, where's my food? So, the Nigerian way of eating, I've always wondered at the old breakfast. I feel like most people's brunch can take them throughout the day service, three square meals in one. I don't know, that's my thoughts on it. What, what say you on this? Okay, for me, I'll just, I just know that personally, I feel lack of information makes a lot of people do some unhealthy things at times. So when you are adequately informed, you know that, okay, this thing is not good for my health, and then I will not do it because... For example, I also, before I became a food consultant, I also indulge in those unhealthy eating. I'll be like, was that it is what it is, that was what we grew up with. But when you go into the concept of nutrition, you have nutritionists around you, you get motivated that, okay, this is what I am supposed to be doing. And enlightenment, wisdom brings you knowledge and you become a better person mm -hmm. when it relates to health. Okay, so what you're recommending now is Eat the bread and beans or rice and beans in the morning. Yes, and you can go for, for balanced yes. um, diet and for you to get yourself gingered for the day. Yes. In the afternoon, you eat your swallow. I eat a swallow. Okay. Then what do you recommend for night? Dinner can be something very light. You can just have salad. Just something. It should be something very, very light because even it is something that should be very, very light because your body is going to go into a process of rest and you don't want to be stressing your body. That is why it's very important that you take more heavier foods during the day because you are going to involve yourself in a couple of activities that will allow you to shed off some unhealthy things that actually have accumulated during the process. Fantastic. All right, so there you have it. Uh, Abimbola says that uh, your breakfast is the most important. And even though you are to eat like a king, Eat like a king that is well informed. Okay? We'll take this break and we'll be right back. Stay with us as Wake Up Nigeria.